brand new episode of Lewis's Adventures. I'm Lewis, your host. In this episode, we will talk about my visit to the Travel and Adventure Show at the Pennsylvania Convention Center in Center City, Philadelphia. We will visit the different stands and hopefully meet some amazing people there. For this video, I'll be wearing shirts provided by my good friends at Scoobadelphia who are very supportive in my quest to make my adventure episode successful. This visit is extra special as it is my 30th second birthday and I can't think of any other way to spend it than with this exciting trip. Today's guest star will be Samantha Brown from the Travel Channel and one of the hosts of the current show on the Travel Channel, 5050. She previously hosted Samantha Brown's Great Weekends, formerly known as Passport to Great Weekends, Grow Me to Hawaii, Great Vacation Homes, and so much more. She also had guest appearances on shows like The Price is Right, The Oprah Winfrey Show, and even The today's show. Miss Brown was even nice enough to wish me a happy birthday and give me this neat autograph of her. I even got to take a picture with her to remember th the moment I had with her during my day. The reason for the interview with her was due to the fact Peter Greenberg, the travel detective and travel editor for CBS News, who had originally hoped to interview, wasn't doing his presentation at the time, and he was doing a book signing afterwards. So I went with Miss Brown instead, and that's how it went. At the PA Convention Center, Hall F, many traveling booths will be set up offering fantastic adventures. My first stop will be with Travel Channel host Samantha Brown, where she is expected to give a presentation. My goal is to try and get an interview with her and talk about what her presentation has to offer and offer information about my YouTube series. I'm sure she has some interesting insights, and I can also speak to her about my YouTube series. Samantha Brown, who just did an amazing presentation, and I hope that she can offer me some advice in my future adventures. Hi, Miss Brown. My name is Lewis, and I do a web series on YouTube called Lewis's Adventures. Yes. As a person with Asperger's Syndrome, I try to inspire people with all types of disabilities by letting them know they can experience great adventures, too. My goal is to become a Patty Master Scuba Diver and explore the different diving spots around the world. May I ask you a few questions? Yes, please. What made you want to do your show? Um, to actually just spend time in people's everyday lives around the world, because I find that the everyday is extraordinary. What is your favorite place to travel in the world? My favorite place would be Cambodia. I love the people and I love Angkor Wat. Lastly, what advice can you give for people with disabilities like mine or even those with physical oh, disabilities when it comes to traveling and adventure? Don't let it stop you. There are so many people and resources out there to make it sure that you are out there traveling just as much as everyone else, so go out there. Thank you for allowing me a bit of your time for the interview and the advice you have to offer when traveling. It was a pleasure. Pleasure's mine. Thank you. I'm Chef, and I'm with AAT Kings from Australia and New Zealand. While well, my interest in Australia is diving in canes in the Great Barrier Reef. Okay. Because I'm a scuba diver. Okay, well we have programs for um, diving in Cairns area, and that would be scuba as well as diving, and then scuba, uh, scuba as well, where that way you have like a, a hole over your head, and you're pumping oxygen through there, so there's three types of different things that we can do. Our programs are typically for uh, escorted, so it's 100% escorted, and our target audience is generally uh, 35 and up in age groups. We will now proceed to visit the various travel booths. The first booth we'll be visiting is the Anthony's Key Resort booth, then on to the Antigua and Barbados booths. Do you know what both of these island names means? Well, Antigua is the Spanish word for ancient, and Barbados means bearded. Also, did you know that Treasure Coast Florida was named after the Spanish treasure fleet? It was a ship that was lost during a hurricane in 1715. Well, my interest of the Florida Keys and, and Key West is scuba diving. Yes. Thank you. You're very welcome. Cool. One of the reasons why I want to visit the um, Caribbean is 
scuba diving, because I'm a diver. There are so many travel booths offering such great information on travel, travel insurance, and what to expect. Those include Aruba, Cayman Islands, Cocoa View Resorts, just to name a few. My goal is to visit as many of them as I can and bring you back insight on the history and adventures these islands have to offer. Even diving in the Red Sea. I may not cover all of them, but I can surely try. Hopefully, I won't run out of breath. I will need it to blow out my birthday candles. One of my interests in the Bahamas is diving, since I'm a diver myself. Well, lucky for you, we have tons of great dive sites. If you go to our capital, which is Nassau, there's George Gold, and they can take you out on a diving trip. But if you want to get off of Nassau, you can go to Grand Bahama Island, Navajos, Eleuthera, Long Island, Exuma, all of those places have excellent dive sites. I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Blue Holes. We have Blue Hole in Long Island, Pauline's Blue Hole, which is the deepest Blue Hole in the world. Um, we also have a Blue Hole in Rock Sound, Lufra, Jacques Cousteau. I'm sure you're familiar with Jacques Cousteau. Of course. He was a former resident of Windermere Island. And he dove in the blue hole in Rock Sound to try to find water, unsuccessful. So, there are lots of great dive sites. In Exuma, we have Thunderball Grotto. We also have Swing Pigs in Exuma. I've heard of those. You've heard of them? And I'm also a huge fan of Stuart Coves, by the way. Stuart, yeah, exactly. Yes, here in Nassau. Always want to dive with them. It's amazing. You can dive with the sharks. It's, it's a really good experience. I've done it myself. I had a blast visiting these booths, meeting the people behind them and what they had to offer. I felt like I was actually at these destination spots. However, I'd rather truly travel there in person. Until next time, this is Lois signing off from the 2016 Philadelphia Travel and Adventure Show at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. If you liked this video, please hit the like button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As I always say, it's time for adventure. Mm -hmm.